Your night vision goggles are nothing compared to this. All right, so the coolest augmented reality tech is actually being made for the US military. The founder of Oculus and his new company, Andril, are creating this headset called Eagle Eye. This thing fuses together night vision, thermal vision, and augmented reality so that you can track friendlies and foes in 3D space in real time. I've got the helmet on here. And then what I have is this pair of augmented reality glasses. So basically I can take these glasses and I put them on these sync with the helmet and with these sensors. So I can, for example, see where my gun is pointing. I can see where every enemy is. I can see where all of my buddies are. Now, thermal and night vision fusion is not new. We've had the ability to see in the dark and see through fog and even fuse these things together to do amazing things. But the augmented reality bit is actually really novel. And it's not even the headset. The secret sauce is the platform that powers it called Lattice. The first thing we built at Anaril is Lattice, a software operating system that enables small number of people to command larger numbers of robotic systems for national security missions. What Lattice does is basically fuses all the sensors in the battle space into a common operational picture of the environment that's in 3D and in real time. Now, what the hell does that mean? Let's say you're approaching an enemy position. Your drone conveniently saw somebody on the other side of the building, immediately tagged and tracked in your headset so you can see them through the walls. It's literally like wall hacks in real life. But the converse is also true. You see somebody in a window and suddenly that person is tagged for every single drone in the air to see. Now the military already has a lot of sensors, satellite sensors, aerial sensors, ground level sensors. Lattice can fuse all those together to create this God mode like tactical view that everyone can see through their AR headsets. What's even more important is this is exactly the 3D substrate that you need for things like humanoid robots or robotic dogs to work hand in hand with humans. Now this tech is only for the military at the moment, but I suspect there'll be a similar version for law enforcement in the future taking all the CCTV cameras and body cams and fusing those together to create a common operational picture.